Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. So it's Friday the 14th of October 2022, so we're close to the weekends now. So for today's reading I'm going to be bringing in the Enchanted Map, Map Oracle deck um, to see what's going on with the Divine Maskings first of all and then I'm going to see what the Divine Maskings would love to communicate as well to the Divine Feminines from their true self and then I'm going to go on to the Divine Feminines. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me. I'm so very grateful to each one of you. And if you are new to my channel I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, because that's how I channel. Please don't be offended. Just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. I do realise it's just energy. And even though I mention about the dates, it really doesn't matter when you come across my readings. If you feel connected to me, you understand me and the message resonates, it means it's for you. So let's see what's coming through today for the Divine Masculine's energy, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing today. Because energy changes all the time. As you know yourself, you can feel all different things at different times of the days on different days. So let's see. It depends what we're working through, what we're going through. So what's going on today with the Divine Masculine's energy? Nice message. Compass 50, so they're trusting that inner compass movement and change coming through as well. Trusting their intuition and 13 solitude. Sad embrace 45. So, but being in this solitude has made the divine masculines really sad, fit to feel really lonely. But by going into this solitude, that is where they've learned to trust that in that compass. And at the bottom of the deck is deep phrase. <laughs> and it's number 26. So we've got eight, which is infinity of abundance. Two is a universal powers coming together, partnership. And six is seeing through the illusion, seeing through the pain. And we've got 13, which adds up to four, which is building on solid foundation. And we have one, which is alignment. Three is faith. And we've got 45, which is building on solid foundation again. And five, movement and change. So we've got movement and change coming through twice. And fours coming through in this reading as well. So in this deep freeze, in this solitude, the divine masculines, so much has happened even though it was frustrating and everything felt as if it was still. And that could have seemed like that to you as well, Divine Feminines. That's when the big stuff does happen. That's when we do really learn about ourselves and understand about ourselves. And we have this relationship with ourselves and with higher power. So we do, And we do have to cut out things, you know, things that we used to do and people that we used to have around us. We have to step away and go into this solitude and um, it, it, it feels uncomfortable and it feels as if everything is frozen and nothing is moving, but so much is moving. As you can see with the fives that are coming through in this reading. So, you know, because this is the energy of today, the Divine Muskins could be experiencing this where everything just feels still and they're spending this time alone today and it's making them feel quite sad but they're learning to to embrace this sadness they're learning to go with the flow of how they're feeling because they do have the awareness that everything that they are experiencing is for their highest good and it's pushing them to trust this inner compass to trust that knowing to trust their intuition and with this sad embrace, you know, if they're feeling this sadness today, when we experience sadness or pain, it's because we're experiencing loss. So because of the changes and them having to step away, they're feeling this loss. They're feeling alone. And that's intensified today. And they're choosing to go into this solitude. Um, 
to to for them to be able to manage this feeling of loss and this could be the loss you know they're feeling this loss of their divine feminine and we've got the full moon here and we've just recently had that full moon in Aries which was very powerful so they're choosing to be on their own today to embrace this sadness to allow themselves to feel and by going through that by feeling that it's just pushing them to trust that knowing within themselves that feeling to always trust their feelings and with the deep freezing and it may feel for them as well that they're stuck that everything is frozen even though there is so much change happening because of what they're going through what they're experiencing through these difficult moments these difficult times that's when the deep stuff happens <laughs> and it's it is all preparation of more change for the next step so now i'm going to go on to the communications and i'm going to be using the divine masculine dark truths from beautiful Liz from guide by angels and i can pick up the energy through these messages as well what the divine masculines would love to share and express to you from their true self so i mean you know we could feel with this energy today we could be you know we, we could feel sad and be upset by this but this is all change guys this is all positive stuff because they're feeling um and it's pushing them to trust their intuition and the compass so it's wonderful news <laughs> really when you put love into the situation it changes everything so what is it the divine masculines would love to share and express to the divine feminines right now in this moment of this reading in this energy I feel you. My spider sense is tingling. Are you thinking of me? Because I'm definitely thinking of you. So they're thinking of you and they're feeling this loss, I would say, because of what's coming through the communication. They can feel you. They want you. And I'm insecure. You're, you treat me better than I've ever been treated. And I know that you can give me everything. I want that, but I'm still struggling with my fears, mainly about not being good enough for you or being enough for you. It's my own insecurities holding me back, yeah. So they're feeling stuck today. And it's making them feel very sad. But they're learning to embrace this sadness, allowing themselves to feel. And it helps them, you know, learn so much about themselves in this time. So they're really feeling this fear of not feeling good enough. And they can't believe that, you know, you are... They're everything. They've never met anybody like you. You've treated them better and you've loved them better than anybody in their life. And it just overwhelms them. And because they're pushing you away, because of their fears, they're sad about this. They feel lonely and they're having to deal with this in this solitude. Um, but again, it's pushing them to have to trust that knowing that inner compass i'm surprised please don't be mad at me i'm trying so hard to change yeah and they're anxious and feeling worried about if you're going to be mad at them and they want you to know they're trying so hard to feel good enough to deal with their issues and i'm afraid i walked away but i intend to come back my concern is will you be there when i do i was running from myself so there's so much fear coming through they're sitting in this fear today, feeling it. This dark energy, this heavy energy, the Divine Mustangs experienced last Friday as well. Um, so that's interesting. So let's see what else comes through. So I'm going to use the Divine Muscular Messages of Love from Beautiful Liz to see what else is coming through. But they are feeling insecure. They're feeling you, they're feeling this love. They're feeling sad, they're feeling this loss of things, you know, that have had to change in their lives, people they've had to remove themselves, they feel as if no one understands them, they know that you're the one thing in their life that is real and it makes them so happy, but because of how they feel about themselves and 
what they're particularly working through today. This is bringing up issues for the divine muscle to deal with, so they do feel good enough. So that's all good. And they're worried about, you know, if you're going to be mad at them because they're in solitude, because they're quiet, because they're not showing how they truly feel to you. If this is resonating, I love your body. So thinking about your body and they love your body. I've been watching you. So they're watching what you're up to. <laughs> Keeping an eye on you. And this could be through so social media or it could be where you live close by to your divine masculine and they're watching you. But they're watching you in some way. So you just have to put that into your situation, how it resonates with you. This could be that they're watching you, you know, looking at photographs or they're looking at clips of when you were together. Um, and by watching you, it's making them very attracted to your body and they want you to know that they love your body. And this could be significant to somebody if you're feeling a bit run down today and you're feeling, you know, worried about your body and thinking, oh, you know, is it, you know, do I need to change this like we do? You need to delete that and know that your divine masculine loves your body, everything about you. And I desire you on every level. They love everything about you and they desire you on every level. So they're all over the place, basically, today. <laughs> and you know yourself, we get days like that. And they're seeing you everywhere. They're getting reminded wherever they're going, whatever they're doing. And um, they're watching you as well. <laughs> so they're very curious about what you're up to. Also, so let's see what comes through for you, Divine Feminist. And I'm going to use the Enchanted Map Oracle for you as well. So what's going on with the Divine Feminines? I'm interested what's going to come out for you, Divine Feminines. How are the Divine, the divine Feminines feeling? What they're experiencing? What's going on today? What they're working through? And what is the support and the guidance today for the Divine Feminines? Nice, clear message, please. Slow and steady, 12, and that adds up to three, faith. And one is alignment, two is universal powers coming together, partnership. And protecting treasure, that's 39. We've got three coming through, faith. Nine is near end of a cycle, completion. And 12 adds up to three again, guys, which is faith. So protect your tre treasure. And Gentle Garden, and it's number two coming through again. And at the bottom of the deck is Unexpected Visitors. So you may be getting Unexpected Visitors. And this is 41, which adds up to five, movement and change. Four is building on solid foundation and one is alignment. So Unexpected visit Visitors could be many things, guys. This could be, you know, animals. When you're in nature... You're seeing certain animals which is helping you and supporting you and showing you that you are on the right path. You could be having unexpected visitors coming into your house <laughs> as well, which, you know, certain things maybe in your garden stuff, you're seeing different animals. But all this can be unexpected visitors, things, you know, things that are coming up again for you. For you to be able to complete lessons, this could be people that you haven't seen for a long time or just things that are that you're feeling as well things that maybe you thought that you'd work through and that you did put to rest maybe that's coming back up again to give you the opportunity to to actually put into practice what you've already learned, how are you going to actually respond this time? Are you going to be responding with fear or are you going to be responding with love in this situation, which is either things within you, you know, things that you haven't thought of for a while that just are appearing again, just you're feeling different things or this is people in your life. And he wasn't expecting it. And this could be unexpected visitors, meaning, you know, your divine masculine. <laughs> um, so again, you just have to be very open about this message. And the most important thing is, is to be this gentle gardener, to be gentle with yourself, to take care of your well-being and protect 
your dreams and desires, protect, protect your treasure. Be very wary who you're sharing your dreams and desires with and your treasure. Protect it and water your garden. Nurture this garden. Yourself. Don't allow others to actually distract you and take you away from your truth. Because that does happen at times when we're, we're so, we're in this high vibration and we're so excited about our dreams and desires and our treasure, whatever this is for you. Somebody could say something or something in the 3D could happen and it takes you completely off track. And then you start experiencing this low vibration energy and the chatter gets more intense and just everything gets out of control again. Spend this time being gentle, looking after your garden, watering the garden, keeping it to yourself, protecting it. And be patient is what I'm getting from slow and steady. Be patient for things to grow to unfold in your garden because everything is moving everything is growing you've just got to trust and have faith and to really look after yourself so you can um, nurture this garden nurture your dreams and desires and you are the garden to look after yourself and you could feel as if everything's really slow and it's not going as quick as you'd like it to be but slow and steady is good again when you put love into the situation because you're being thorough you're having this awareness about things that are going on around you having the awareness of the importance of being gentle with yourself looking after your well-being and all of those things put together, you can protect your dreams and desires. Keep it to yourself. You know, when you're trusting yourself, you know who you can share your dreams and desires with. Like-minded people, your soul family, your soul tribe. Things are falling into place for you, but it's a slow and steady pace. But this is the pace of God, the universe. Everything that is happening for you right now is happening perfectly for you of what you can actually man manage um, so don't get impatient don't try and to rush and give up on watering and being gentle with your garden keep allowing it to grow by looking after it and that is protecting your treasure your dreams and desires because you've got to be in the right place for this treasure your dreams and desires to be shown to you. For you to be able to see these manifestations. But you are the treasure in all of this. Don't be hard on yourself. And put pressure on yourself, thinking things should be moving along a lot faster. Be patient. And we can be patient when we're trusting and believing in what we already know. And we can trust and believe in what we already know when we're protecting ourselves, looking after ourselves and, you know, <laughs> being gentle with ourselves. So there's lots of going on here for you, Divine Feminines. You just have to put it into your situation, how this message is resonating with you in your situation, in your journey. So thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. Um, if any of you guys would like any extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. There is an offer for October, November and December for phone sessions. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you all so much love, my support, my strength and light and I love you all so very much. See ya! Oh, that's your soul saying, oh.